What's up, everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Tops. So, oh my god, I hope you're very ready for these new bear archetypes. Wow. And this is Bottoms. So, I mean, ruh, ruh, ruh. And this is Dribbles. So, I'm a cattle. Oh my god, it's a bear. Ah. And we're guys. Hi, team. Happy Thursday, my beautiful baby space mecha bears. Oh my god, we have a bear. <laughs> but it doesn't honestly suck. So today we come bearing very good news about this very amazing new bear archetype. We're <laughs> bears in space and they're called bear tick or bear tea? Bear tie? I, I want to call them bear tick because it's like bear and arctic and we were kind of talking about that in the discord but like I don't know bear tea. I'm, I'm gonna call them bear tick. They're bear tick. Bears, yep. space bears. So this brand new Berk T, Berk Tai, Berk Tick, whatever archetype just got released. So we are going to go over every one of these cards, talk about the potential for mm -hmm. this deck, what it does. We've read the cards maybe once and just like, you know, we're going to go through it together yeah. and break it down for y'all. So before we do that, if you guys are not already a subscriber. How bear you? You <laughs> better be a subscriber and you better like the video. You better hit the notification bell because then you'll see all of our videos once they come out. That's pretty neat. And then comment your most unbearable bear pun. I want to know. We're doing bear stuff today. It can be bears, it can be mall, it can be any of that. We also have an Instagram, it's at CrushCarsYGL. Feel free to come say hi there if you want to interact with us one-on-one -on -one a little bit more. We also have a super wholesome Discord community. It's absolutely bopping and they're sweet like honey. So feel free to go hang out if you want some more friends and to hang out with me. And then last but not least, we also have a Patreon if you're looking to hunt for some new stuff to enjoy <laughs> like merch and remote duels and sessions with us. We have the whole shebang. So if you want to further support us, feel free to check that out. But if not, that's okay. I'm just happy you're here with all of us cubs. We're a big pack here. All right, so if you guys are all ready to get into this, we're gonna put the bear puns aside for 10 seconds. If we head over here to Beyond the Duelist, we have We Got Space Bears. More bear excitement. What a creative title they came up with for this one. They really went out of their way. But we got Space Bears. Yep. What do the Space Bears do? Hell if I know, let's read about them. All right, so it's coming out in Ancient Guardians, so just a couple months away. The first one, I mean, the art is really cool. He's like a space bear riding a space glacier, maybe? I, it looks like his paw. Maybe it's his paw. Maybe it's just a big paw. Maybe my eyes are broken. It's a bear claw. Hope you're counting. So the big bear claw guy is Bear T. McPola, not to be confused with Mick Griddle. Uh, <laughs> he's a water beast effect monster, level 7. 700 attack, 2,000 defense. That's kind of weird, but all right. You can only use each of this card's names first and second effects once per turn. All right. During the main phase, quick effect. That's nice. You can tribute one other level 7 or higher monster in your hand. Pretty cool. Special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except monsters that have a level. <laughs> no link summons for you. All right, so that's during the main phase, first and foremost. Like, that's really cool. The main phase, not yours. The. So either player's main Ours. phase. Ours. Quick effect. Oh, here we go. Prank gets flashbacks. You could just tribute another level 7 or higher monster special from your hand. Puts itself on board as a quick effect. Mm. And then if this card is special summoned, you can add one Bear Team monster from your deck to your hand. That's pretty cool. It's an in archetype searcher. We love a search. On summon, that's a quick effect. That's a pretty strong start. But all right, we started off pretty strong with Bear Team McGriddle. Let's see what's next. Going on down, we have our next one. Which is Berkti. Berkti McTannis. McTannis. What's okay. with the Mick? I don't. Am, is the Mick like a? I think like Mick, like like I don't know. Like is it like Mike? a Mecca thing? Like uh, yeah, a Mecca, maybe like Mike. Mike, yeah, Mike. But why is Tannis? it translating to McTannis? Who's Tannis? Is that the type of bear? He kind of looks it's like. Kind of cute. He looks like a black bear. He's got this little shield on his little wrist. That's pretty cool. I just want to know what's, what's happening. What's this? His, These he's translations got like a, is it are like getting a me. Big wing. No? Okay, cool. It's a claw. It's a level 7. Once again, 700 attack. Not that strong. Not super beefy. But it's 1700 defense, so that's cool. During the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute one other level 7 or higher monster from your hand. Special summon this card from your hand. Also, you're not supposed to summon monsters for the best return, except monsters that have a level. So, it looks like so far they all have the same exact summoning yeah. condition. And then, if this card is special, then you can target one Barracty monster in your graveyard, except itself, add it to your hand. That's okay, crazy. so, two of these are level 7s. This guy, the polar bear, adds tributes, a card. And he tributes from hand. Yeah, and then adds a card from deck to hand. And then the black bear adds a card from grave to hand. So, so then you can tribute from hand. So this is kind of cool. It's kind of circular. What I like here, too, maybe I'm lost in, may, maybe I'm lost in translation, but this one here, it says you can you tribute a card from your hand, special it, 
and then you add a card from your graveyard back to your hand. Just like the Eldritch cards when we first read them, it doesn't specify that you can't add back the card that you just tributed. Mm. So you can tribute a card, put this on field, and then this will activate, and then you just add that card right back to your hand. So this is just a free summon. Like, Interesting. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. All right, moving on. Um, Is the next one going to be a brown bear? Probably. All right, next one. Oh! I mean, he's, he's, he's kind, kind of a brown green. bear. He's green. No, he's a green bear. Okay. But he's Berkty McBillis. McBillis. Not to be confused with Willis. Or Phyllis. <laughs> Who named this part? I, I don't just know. I just want to talk to Konami. He's cute though. My god, I can't wait for these to get translated into the TCG. But again, here we go. During the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute one other level summon or higher monster in your hand, special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monster, yada yada, except monsters that have a level. Same thing. Cool. Second effect, if this card is special summoned, you can special summon one Beric T monster from your hand except McBillis. That's sweet. That's so, pretty sick. First off, just keep in mind, all of these cards, their second effects is if this card is special summoned. So like homeboy over oh, 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 oh. homeboy over here just special summons it from the hands. So you can kinda get around that tributing. So that's really cool. Um I all just real quick for any of my Transformers fans, because these are like kind of transforming looking bears. He's got the all spark, dude. He's got the all spark in the center of his chest. Okay. I guess so. Nerding off. Uh the next one is oh uh, level seven also. So the first three are level seven. Yeah, level seven. They all have 700 attack. And they all summon themselves the same way. Moving on. I wonder why 700. This dude All is All right, next one. Sick. Berk T Megapola, because he's a big polar bear. He's a mega polar bear. Mick. Mick is like like micro, and then Meg is like mega. Oh. That make the sevens are the, the right. small ones, and the eights are the big ones. Mick. Mike. 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 So should we have called them Mike? Mike. Mike. Phyllis? Sure. You let us know in the comment sections. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So this one is a level eight Beast Warrior Tuner. 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 2,500, so we finally got some beefy stats going Yay. on. During the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute one. Okay, so it looks like it's the same, same exact thing. same exact summoning condition. So it's, I feel like it's safe to say mm. all these have the same exact summoning conditions. If this card is special summoned while you control another bear T monster, target one spell trap your opponent controls, destroy it. So I mean, that's okay. That, that's that's cool. pretty, so that's it's fine. in archetype spell trap removal, and it, this is the only one that requires another card on field mm. in order to activate it. Good my, thing. My qualm with a lot of these, I feel like, is going to be that they target. And I know that that's like, yeah, oh, targeting, but like sometimes targeting kind of sucks. But yeah. like this is fine. Yeah, this is pretty good, and the artwork is sick. Yeah, they look. This stunning. is this looks like I'm. This looks adorable. This looks awesome. This looks really really He's cool. He's going to maul the crap out of you. <laughs> so this is the level eight. It's a tuner. So moving on to the next. Dude, oh, he's cool. this art is rad. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm piecing things together now. So this one is Mega Tannis, where before we had oh, Mick Tannis. This, where's Mick Tannis? Mick Tannis and the, the Mega Tannis. Oh, so they are oh, literally so Transformers. They're all Transformers, Mega Bears in the skies. <laughs> But he's a Water Beast Warrior Tuner effect, level 8, 2400 and 700 defense. Special summoning condition is the exact same as all the other ones. Second effect is if this card is special summoned while you control another Barakty monster, there that is again, you can target a face-up monster your opponent controls, change it to face-down defense position. Quick Book effect, Book of Moon, Love dude! That's really cool. This is really good. I think the scary thing for me, um, I don't, I'm sure someone will break it. It's not going to be us right off the bat, but these are quick effect level 8 tuners. That's a little nerve-wracking. Like, these are quick effect level 8 tuners that just put themselves on board for free. So, uh, all right. Cool. So far, we haven't seen a normal summon, by the way. So, moving on down, we have... Oh, Ooh. dude, that's sick. We got Wolverine the bear. He's a bear. Um, oh, Mega Megabillis. Megabillis. All right. Mega Willis, Mega Phyllis. So, it is the same summoning condition. Same it's this card is special summon. While you control oh, a bear team monster, closer. you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Banish it. That's Nice. Okay, so it's safe to say that all the Mike or Mech or the Mick, the little ones, all the level sevens, the little guys, they all just have their effects that just activate on summon, and all the bigger guys, the level eights, in which I believe are all tuners, have to have the other ones on field in order to activate and resolve their effects. Yes. So, so they're McGriddles, and then there's Big Mechs. Yeah, and I wonder ooh. how much bigger can we get, because there's going to be synchros. Yeah, this is sweet. Yeah, these are, I really. His mouth is these, like the chest. Piece but this is, is his like, ah! head. Yeah, yeah. This is so cool. sick. These are. I love this archetype. They're very awesome. And then, oh, 
Our sweet boy. The sweet boy that caused so much confusion among the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. universe. Everyone yeah. was like, how the hell am I summoning a level one synchro? I don't get it. Well, here we go. We're going to we do are. math for this archetype. Yay! Everyone meet Barak T. Polari. Here, let's he's go back cute. up to his image. Sorry, there he is. Okay. He's adorable. He's a water beast synchro effect. Uh, he's a level one, 700 with a thousand defense. Cannot be synchro summoned. Interesting. That's interesting being a synchro <laughs> card. Interesting. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by sending one tuner and one non tuner you control whose levels differ by one to the graveyard. So ah. a seven and an eight, eight are different by mm. one. Oh my god. Wow, that changes the game. You can only Literally. use this card's first and second effects once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can activate one Barrack T Big Dipper directly from your deck. That's the field spell. That's pretty good. You can just activate it directly from your just deck. Just do it. Ash Go what? for it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I love how the recent card, I mean, we've only been around for a couple years now, mm -hmm. but like, there's a lot of cards now that's just like, ah, oh, just activate yeah, it from just your deck. Just it. set it directly Whatever. from your deck. Like, Ash who? Nobody, that's who. Lilith walked so yeah. Polare could run. Amen. You can tribute one level seven or higher monster, add it to your hand, or special summon a Barakti monster from your graveyard. Holy lord, Just dude. do what you want, I guess. Wow. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's really good. So this is like your recursion card. This gets you the field spell, and I mean, like, it takes two cards to put it on board, but like, pretty relevant effect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that, dude. This Look is like, him. I feel like like Konami put out Drytron, which was like yeah. Gundam Wing, and then this is like Gundam Wing 001. Or like the follow-up to Gundam Wing that was yeah. way better with the cooler animation, the better art design, the cooler weapons. Like, these are sweet. Or it's Beast Wars. Ooh, or Ooh, for, or for all Wars. my anime nerds, it's like Gurren Lagann, but you know. Who? Okay. Moving on, we have... Uh, the Berkti Septon Tryon. Oh, there he is. That's, That's a, a lot. cool name. Won't probably translate to the TCG, but cannot be Synchro Summoned. That's weird Amazing. for a Synchro must. <laughs> must be Special Summoned from your extra deck by sending one level 8 or higher tuner and one non-tuner Synchro monster you control whose levels differ by 7 to the graveyard. Okay, so it's... Math. So okay, it's cool. Not, so there it is. Just the one little yep. guy. And, and then level, the other, the big guy. the big guy. Okay. What I do think is really interesting, before we move on to the actual secondary effect, is that these cards say cannot be Synchro Summoned, must be Special Summoned from your extra deck. It doesn't say must first be special summon. So I'm pretty sure the dude that brings these back from the graveyard can't bring back these synchro monsters. It actually, these have to be like special summon from your extra deck. They can't be brought back. So mm -hmm. that's an interesting, so like once you're out of resources, you're out of resources and yeah, that's it. Yeah, like you have to deal with it. And then this one is you can only use this card's second name effect once per turn. <laughs> Whoa, the effect of all face up monsters special summon from the extra deck that have no level are negated. That's just a blanket That's statement. just a hi, I'm here. That's just a hello. This is what I do. Xyz and Lynx, nah. Rip. Nah, y'all thought Zeus was good? Here that's you go, crazy. here's your answer. Just, it's literally just a big old wow. no. That's crazy. Wow, what a guy. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can add one Berkti card from your deck to your hand. Once again, it's a, a blanket negate and it's just a searcher. That it's beefy. Nuts. He's 3K. He's that's, a big boy. That's pretty nutty. And he looks great. That's a, that's a heavy looking sword. That's, yeah. Moving on, we've got oh, the heavy Very looking scythe. Berkti Grand Chario. Sure. He's a water beast warrior synchro effect monster. He's 2,700 attack, 700 defense, and he's a level 7. Cannot be synchro summoned. Wow. Wow. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by sending one level 8 or higher tuner and one non-tuner synchro monster. You can control his level just by 7, blah, blah, blah. We know the shield. There he is. If this card is special summoned, you can target two cards on the field and destroy them. That's pretty neat. Target wow. with kind of sucks, but it's fine. Once per turn, when a card effect is activated, the target's a Barak T card or cards you control. Quick effect, you can tribute a monster from your hand or field, negate the activation. All right. That's pretty nice. Pretty, uh, pretty cool built-in protection. Yeah, you can negate from hand. That's pretty cool. That's pretty rad. That's pretty neat. That, okay, moving on. All right, moving on. We've got ourselves a Ooh. quick play spell. Oh my god, speaking of McGriddles, we've got sliders now. We've Bear got the Bear slider. slider. See, it is. Okay, we were both right. It's a claw it's and a claw. like a looking. It's, like it's a, a claw, glacier. but it's like a. Yeah, it's not his claw, though. It's like a glacier looking thing. Whatever. It's like a transporter kind okay. of guy. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Okay, so it's Harlan's return. Target one of your Bear Team monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters for this a turn after this card resolves, except monsters that have a level. Also, special summon that target, but it cannot attack, also destroy it during the end phase. Okay, that's an extender. That's cool. I, I don't know if this is a 3 of, but this card's cool. It's pretty neat. Yo, it's this cute got, artwork. This I love the artwork on it. Bunch of spikes in the back. I love that's these. Cute. This these is like so flying. Cute. Look at them go, dude. Just All right, oh, moving up. This is probably one of my favorite card arts in the entire archetype. Bear Team Big Dipper. Oh, yeah, there it is. 
Once per turn, if you attribute a monster to activate a Bear T monster's effect, you can banish one level 7 or higher Bear T monster from your graveyard instead. All okay, right, there it is, cool. And then this one just specials back from Banish. So like, that's a really cool interaction. And then uh, each time a monster is special summoned, place one counter on this card. That's every time a monster is special summoned. Not yours, not just your opponent. It's anytime a anyone special summons. Wow. wow. This this card just punishes your opponent or just whomever for playing a combo Let me get out deck. all 57 dice, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third effect says once per turn, if a monster is special summoned, you can remove all counters from this card, minimum of seven, then target one monster your opponent controls, take control of it. That's pretty cool. You can only activate this effect when there is a bear T synchro monster on the field. That's pretty neat. It's literally right. just a sick little mind control. It doesn't say the effects are negated. It doesn't say you can't attack with it. Yeah. Go off. Just take it. Yeah. Just go, take just it. Take it does it. target. I do feel like the restriction is actually kind of balanced in this because you have to have the synchro monster. Mm. This has to have X amount of counters and it targets. So like, that's pretty cool. But still, like, that's pretty powerful. Field yeah. spells in the today's day and age are nutty. It's so crazy. It's Big Dipper like bears because Ursa Major is a bear. Oh. Ursa Minor is a bear. Oh. Bears and the stars. The more you Space know. Space bears. This is the trap card with Homeboy's Big Sword on it. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is Quint Charge. Bear T Quint Charge. Because there's five. Five bears. Whoa. Five. See, she's way smarter than Quint I am. Five. Once per turn, you can pay 700 life points to activate one of these effects. Wow, this sounds like Chris Edlin. Yep. Add one Bear T monster from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Tribute two Bear T monsters, and if you do, special summon one Bear T monster from your extra deck whose level equals the difference between those monsters' levels, ignoring summoning conditions. Ooh, wee! Ooh. Yeah, so this just cheats them out of the yeah, extra deck. Free. Awesome. Cool. Free. All right. And then the second effect says when your Bear T monster is destroyed by battle with an opponent's attacking monster, you can have your opponent shuffle cards from their hand, field, and graveyard until they have a total of seven. All right. Okay. I mean, I don't see that coming up super often, except like a grind game. But like, that's pretty cool. So, that, so like, I'm confused by the wording on this. Is this like so total. until they have seven? Seven cards in play total. So like oh, seven okay. between your graveyard and your was it hand, hand and field? field. So I mean, this that's is like good. This, I think I right if I'm reading that correctly. I think it's cool. And it's continuous. So this just hangs out like, forever. I think that's. All right, and then the last one that we are seeing is, is a, reprint a reprint of Ayers Rock Sunrise. Of Ayers Rock, Whoa. yeah, wow. All right, so uh, first impressions. This reminds me, oddly enough, of like, I don't want to say like a synchro version of Eldritch, but like it kind of, like it's got that in archetype, pay X amount of life points in search. It's got that quick effect pop. It's got the quick effect graveyard banish. They all do something. It's all, it's, they're just summons. Like mm -hmm. this is pretty interesting. And like, it's got that really cool interaction between the cards and themselves. like. The only thing that I do think this deck is missing, which if we haven't noticed yet, these are eights, eights, eight, seven, seven. Huh. Where's the normal summon? There, I don't see one, boss. There isn't one. This could go really, really well as like an engine, and that's mm. that's a little that's potentially a little scary to see uh -oh. these uh, these big old bears just being an engine. Can you yeah, imagine? Yeah, it's kind of hard because they are really restricted, so I don't really see yet. I mean, yeah. granted, we don't really know what other stuff is coming out in the sets and like support, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but like. This is a really cool archetype, and I really like how they all revolve around like stars, like in all the, the monsters. They yeah. have a star because the bears, Polar Polaris, cool. Polaris, and the bears, and the Coca Cola, and the Klondike bars, and the bears. <laughs> the bears. I don't know. I really like this archetype. I think it's going to be fun. I get how people are like on the fence with it because like they're like, well, well, why aren't they machines? Or like, why aren't they this? And it's like, well, I mean, I think it's neat that they're beast warriors and, and they're beasts. waters. They're like, beast and beast warriors. I think that's fun. Also, it's just main deck alpha. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Alpha yep. bounces stuff. You're playing a bunch of beasts and beast warriors. Put them back. Like, yeah. I think that's so cool. I think that is pretty cool. I think that's awesome. And a lot of people too, when Eldritch first came out, they were really like iffy about the fact mm -hmm. that like Eldritch was one of those decks that was only restricted to zombies. But like, mm -hmm. this doesn't really lock you out of links and like no. Xyz. You just have to be careful of yes. if and when and how you summon them. So I think this is really cool. I really like this archetype. I can't wait to get our hands on this and play with this. This yeah. looks really fun. I think this looks fun. So far for Ancient Guardians, this is what I'm the most excited about. For sure. Hands I'm down. Very excited. Do you guys see my bear hat? I didn't talk about it in the beginning of the video, but bears. I love bears. But that's all we got for our little introduction of our space mecha girl and log and gundam transformer bears. We're super excited about them. I hope you're super excited about them. Let us know in the comments if you're excited about them. And if you're not excited about them, why? That's, that's right. totally fine. Love I get it. We have very limited information right now, so we're just kind of going off of what we got. And that's fine. We just wanted to bring this to light for you guys and talk about how excited we are about these awesome, cool space bears. Screw right Dratron.
We're riding on claws. Riding on bear claws. Sweet. I love bear claws. Do you guys have bear claws where you are? I love bear claws. They're like a pastry, and you like dip them in coffee, and they're like, oh, they're like icing and stuff. Oh, really All right, good. we need anyway, a snack. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> we hope you have an awesome Thursday. We love you. You matter. You're very perfect. You're the honey to my pie. I'm going to go in a cave and hibernate for the day because I am tired. All right, we love you. You matter. Deuces. See y'all.